know it's been a while since I filmed a makeup video, but today I have exciting makeup video for you all. Today I'm going to be trying out some of the Stranger Things collection by MAC Cosmetics. Normally I do not spend a lot of money on makeup. I don't like to, but because it was Stranger Things, I was like, okay, mm -mm, that's going in my cart. So I had to purchase it. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I want to start off with is the two blushes that I purchased right here. This is how the packaging looks like. It is really, really beautiful. I love the whole packaging. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't even want to throw away these packaging. Like, I, I just don't want to throw away the packaging at all. I just feel like keeping them. So this one is called Friends Don't Lie. And this one is the Hawkins themed blush. And it looks super cute. I really love that. And inside the box, it actually has like a drawing inside of it. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it looks really cool. Super amazing. I really love how creative the packaging is. And this looks like a little textbook. It is just so freaking cute. I love how small it is because it's definitely something that I can, you know, basically put in my purse too if I need to. So that's really cool. Oh my goodness. On the inside, it looks really, really beautiful. It says Tiger Pride 86. This is how it looks like on the inside. Um, this is a really beautiful mirror. It comes with this little thing right here. I don't know what these are. All right, love. So I don't know if this is considered a spoiler, but if you all haven't seen the new series, then you're more than welcome to skip ahead. But I just wanted to let you all know what HFC stands for in case you all wanted to know. So basically, HFC stands for Hellfire Club, and this is their little symbol. Hellfire Club is basically a D&D &D club. So just like the shirt Eddie is wearing right here. He is wearing the symbol and it just says Hellfire Club. So that's basically what it is. So I am assuming that Matt Cosmetics created um, this Stranger Things collection to be dedicated to the new series. And it makes perfect sense because a lot of the name shades and the symbols that I saw in the makeup collection were things that I didn't see in all of the series of Stranger Things. So when I saw the new series, I was like, okay, that makes perfect sense but i think they're really cute i think i would actually use this as more of like a book marker type of thing so this is how it looks like on the inside like i said this one is called friends don't lie it is like a pinky shade and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch out this one for you all on my hand it's a little messy but this is how friends don't lie looks like the next shade that we have here is called he likes it cold it looks like this. I really, really love the packaging. It even has like the little texture feel to it. On the inside of the packaging, it has like a dragon drawing. So here on the inside, it has like another mirror. I love mirrors. It's super helpful. Um, definitely whenever you're going somewhere, this would be really good to use because like I said, it has a mirror and it comes with another one of these cute little um little paper things here i don't know what they're for but i definitely like it i like the idea it's really cute um and this is basically a red type of blush shade and i'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one out this is how the blush looks like right here he likes it cold i think it is a very very vibrant type of blush i don't know how that's gonna look on me but i definitely want to try it out the next products that I have here that I purchased were these lip glosses. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them out for you. Just so you all know though, I didn't purchase two of the lip glosses. There's one that is a black lip gloss as well as a yellow type of acidic type of color. Um, I didn't purchase that one. I, per I really didn't like the way the yellow one looked like and I just thought that you know what like that one just isn't for me as for the black lip gloss i wanted to get it but i just have to wait some other time hopefully if it's still there um because this is all i can afford so anyways i practically got almost all of the lip glosses still so i think that's pretty cool so this is how the packaging looks like for all of the lip glosses they're actually the same this is how it looks like in the back so this shade right here is called Wild Wheeler. It's a little bit dirty. I apologize because I had it around my makeup powder. So I apologize for that. But this is how it looks like. It has the Hawkins um, logos and everything on it, which I think is really cute. So it says Tigers, 
1986 on it. Super duper cute. I love that. I'm going to go ahead and swatch Wild Wheeler on my hand. That way you guys can see it. This is also how the little applicator looks like. Really simple, just like your everyday lip gloss that you use. So this is how Wild Wheeler looks like. Like It is really, really gorgeous. Next, we got Excellent Erica. You can't spell America without Erica. And I know that's cringy, but I watched a lot of Stranger Things. I lost count with how many times I rewatched all the seasons. This is how excellent Erica looks like. It is really beautiful as well. I'm loving that little pink shade. Definitely gorgeous. The next shade that we have here is called Eerie L. So this is how Eerie L looks like. I definitely love this lip gloss, especially for like a nude natural type of makeup look. I think it would go so very good. The next one that we have here is called Rockin' Robin. I love red, so of course I had to get this one. And I love the fact that it's like an upside down theme. I really love that. It's a really beautiful red. Here's how it looks like. This one, like I said, it's called Rockin' Robin. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these lip glosses on my lips. in love with this lip gloss shade definitely one of my top favorite ones so far i love all the lip gloss shades i think they are really really beautiful hands down definitely very very vibrant which i love you do, however, gotta be careful because they can stain your teeth. I know I stained my teeth several times and I had to be sure that I didn't have any lip gloss on my teeth for this video. Um, but definitely very, very gorgeous colors. Um, it also isn't like a sticky consistency, which I love. All of them feel very smooth on the lips. However, they do kind of feel a little bit heavy on the lips. Um, but other than that, I feel like I love them because they're not sticky. It definitely makes my lips feel really smooth, which I love. So I would definitely recommend these. But if you don't like heavy feeling type of thing going on around your lips, then maybe these wouldn't be for you. All right. So I actually purchased the two eyeshadow palettes, which I'm super excited to try out. So for this eyeshadow palette here, I think this one... This one is the Hawkins Class of 1986 eyeshadow palette. This one has like a blue purple type of hue color tone to the packaging. And as for the Void eyeshadow palette, this one is just a plain blue type of color um, for the packaging. Okay, so the one that I want to start with is the Hawkins Class of 1986. I'm going to go ahead and swatch out this palette for you all. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box. This is how it looks like for the Hawkins um, eyeshadow palette. Definitely love it. It looks like a school little notebook. Kind of gives me like the whole composition notebook type of vibes. I love it. In the back it says 1986. Definitely really cute. Goes good with that blush as well. This is how the palette looks like. It has a mirror right here. It also has the Go Tigers symbol on here. Super cute. I love it. It comes with these little things here, which I don't know what it is, like I said, but you could definitely use this as like a book marker if you read books. So it's definitely cool. Oh, whoa, I'm seeing something here. It says, Hop is alive right here. So of course, we all know this Stranger Things 4. If you guys seen the trailer, we all know that Hop is alive. Thank God I was worried that he was dead. Um, but I love that they put this. It says Hop is alive and it says to date, please to make um, reservations, call. 
it has like a number and I don't know what the rest says but I try to read it as best as possible but that's really cool I'm gonna go ahead and start swatching the palette this is how these shades look like Um, I find it a little weird because I feel like someone probably, I don't know, swatched this one. I haven't even like swatched the palettes and this one looks a little weird, like someone put their finger in it. I don't know, could just be like the way it was made. Same here, I noticed that it looks like someone like put their finger on it or maybe the machine, I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and still try it out. So the first shade we're going to check out is Dingus, which is this one right here. Let's go ahead and swatch that on my hand. Whoa, look at this gold color. It's really, really gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Okay, definitely very vibrant. Dingus over here is very shiny. It's definitely a shimmery color. I love shimmer shades, so I love this gold right here. The next one that I'm going to swatch out is General Store, so let's go ahead and do that. Whoa, okay really beautiful shimmer blue type of shade really gorgeous let's see how this looks like on my hand whoa okay okay really really beautiful okay this color is gorgeous i i feel like i'm gonna use this one a lot in my look this shade is called benny's burger okay i don't know if you can see this it kind of like blends in with my skin but um, this one is called Benny's Burger. This is how it looks like on this finger. That way you all can see it. Um, like I said, I don't know if you can see that because it kind of camouflages or blends in with my skin. But this will be perfect for like a nude natural type of look. Definitely like it. Next shade is Palace Arcade. It already looks very lovely. Let's see how it looks like on my hand. Okay, that is a very, very beautiful, vibrant purple. I absolutely love this one. I'm loving the shimmer shades by far so far. Next one we have here is called Star Starcourt Mall. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch this little shade here. It's basically a pinky type of shade. So let's go ahead and swatch it on my hand. Okay. Next shade we're going to go on to looking at is the Hawkins High. This is a green shade. Look how vibrant that one is. Very, very gorgeous. There you go. That's how the green shade looks like. I really love it. It's just super duper beautiful as well. I forgot to swatch the last shade on this row. Um, but we're going to go ahead and swatch Surfer Boy Pizza. This one looks like it's already another shade that I'm going to love. Definitely love that shade. Vibrant, I feel like I would also use this as like a little highlighter or even like in the tear duct of my eyelid. Definitely gorgeous. Next shade we're moving on to is called USS Butterscotch. It's another shimmery shade. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch this one out. Okay, another lovely shimmer shade. Absolutely adore. I love brown shimmer shades. Definitely gorgeous. All these colors are really gorgeous. This is how they all look like on my hand right now. What do you all think so far about the Hawkins eyeshadow palette? Definitely let me know down in the comments. I really do feel like so far the eyeshadows are very smooth. They're not very chalky, which I was really surprised with. Even the shimmer shades, they're very, very smooth. The next eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be looking into is the one called The Void. So let's go ahead and open up this baby. Okay, definitely love the way this looks like. It is just super duper gorgeous. Um, it definitely has that little textured feel. I love the whole upside down packaging. Really gorgeous so far. This is how it looks like in the back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. It comes with another little um, paper like this. It also comes with a mirror. So really good if you want to take it whenever you're traveling. Definitely helpful. And these are all the shades right here. Um, just by looking at it, I already like the blue shade right here. I love blue shades. 
um it just looks absolutely gorgeous already i also love this little green shimmer shade right here um i also feel like you could definitely use this type of palette whenever you're gonna go out like clubbing or something because it gives that type of dark sexy type of makeup look i want to say oh i can already see that just by looking at the packaging i really love this so far but let's see how it looks like on my hand let's see how vibrant the colors are so the first shade that we're gonna start off with is called the mother gate and it is right here okay so this is how the mother gate shade looks like it is really really gorgeous i think it's a nice shimmer shade definitely love it as well the next shade that we're gonna try out is called demo bat look how gorgeous that shade is i actually really love both of these shades so far next one is called demogorgon and it is right here this is how the shade looks like i feel like it's definitely a good shade for like a base if you're gonna do a natural look because i can already see that it's kind of like a neutral color like you can't really see it but you can i, I don't know like you can see it a little bit like there it is it's right there it's definitely not like an as vibrant color well for me um because i do have like a brown type of skin color next shade is called spores i'm gonna like look how vibrant it is already i'm already loving this one let's just try it out on my hands oh my goodness okay first of all this shade super vibrant definitely can use it as like a highlighter um, I want to apply this shade onto the tear duct of my eye. The next shade that we're going to look into is called the Void. Of course, it's a black shade. We all know how a black shade looks like, but I'm, I'm still going to swatch it. I'm going to place it right here and swatch it. This is how the black shade looks like. The next shade that we're going to look onto is called Code Red. I'm going to try that again because I feel like I messed that swatch up. Um, this is how Code Red looks like. I think it's a really nice shade as well. I think it's really nice. The next shade that I'm really excited to look into is called, um, I think it's pronounced Krill House. I don't know, I could be saying it wrong. It's the blue shade, so I'm super hyped for this one. Whoa, okay. I absolutely love this blue shade right here. It's another shimmer shade. Definitely gorgeous. I adore this one. Like straight up, it's my favorite one. I feel like I will definitely use that one a lot as well. The next final shade is called Mind Flare. Whoa, okay, that is lovely. Alright guys, so I'm going to go ahead and create a makeup look using the property of Hawkins eyeshadow palette. I'm really excited because it's like, what a way to basically start off a celebration to the new season of Stranger Things with a makeup launch that is basically a Stranger Things themed. Like, how awesome is that? I really love that. I'm going to go ahead and use the eyeshadow foundation base by playing a makeup by Yolando. I only applied the white base on one side of my eye because I wanted to see how vibrant the shades would look like without the white base. I'm going to go ahead and try to recreate Mrs. Wheeler's eyeshadow look but also kind of make it into my own in a way. So for today, I'm going to start off with a blue shade. The blue shade isn't from any of the Stranger Things palettes, Just I just want you guys to be aware of that. I also wanted to address something really quick. I'm actually using two blue shades from the Blue Blood palette, which I will tell you all what shades I am using in a bit. But I kind of didn't want to bring it up because I don't want any problems on my channel because I know a lot of people do not like using Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I've had this palette for a while, so I just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. So the two shades that I'm using for this look is called Blue Blood, which is this one right here. I'm also using the shade I Am Cold up here, so I'm taking these two shades and basically applying it onto my eyelid. So I'm mixing both of them together, so let's get back onto the makeup look.
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the property of Hawkins eyeshadow palette. I'm gonna be applying the shade Star Court Maw onto the crease of my eyelid, and it's this pink shade right here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Surfer Boy Pizza, which is this one right here. And I'm going to be applying the shade onto the tear duct of my eyelid. I am just applying the two blue shades onto the lower lash line. I am now applying a gel liner. I am applying the shade General Store onto my eyelid, but I am using my fingers. Next, I'm using the TYNT Lash and Brow Duo, and I'm only going to be using the mascara from this product. guys so i'm gonna be using something completely different this was sent to me from influencers so i'm gonna be using the lily lashes and i've already like used them before and i thought they were really really amazing so um i know this video isn't about lily lashes but i'm gonna go ahead and use them anyways all right so these are the lashes and these are called the everyday miami lily lashes so far, these have been my favorite ones. And I love these lashes because they're definitely glasses approved. They just feel really comfortable and they don't hit my glasses. So they're really amazing. Next, I am just contouring a bit. I'm going to be using the Hawkins blush here and I'm going to be using the shade Friends Don't Lie. Oh wow! I'm actually very, very impressed with this blush. It's just really pigmented. Oh my god! I'm going to be using the lip gloss shade Wild Wheeler. And this is the final makeup look. I really did love the way it came out. I also feel like the lip gloss gives me kind of like a Barbies type of vibes. loves now on to the second makeup look that i'm going to be creating i'm going to be using the void eyeshadow palette um, i guess i'm going to start in with the shade the, the void which is the black shade right here i am applying the shade mother gate onto my eyelid but i am using my fingers Next, I am applying the shade Code Red underneath my lower lash line. I am now applying the shade Spores onto the tear duct of my eyes. I am now doing the same steps that I did earlier on the first makeup look. I am basically just contouring, applying some gel eyeliner as well as some mascara and also putting on my lashes. I am now applying the blush shade called He Likes It Cold and you have to be very careful because this shade is very vibrant. Next, I am using the lipstick shade called Witches by KVD Cosmetics. And that is the final makeup look. I actually wanted to draw on some upside down vines type of thing but I was in a hurry that day, so I couldn't do that. I forgot to 
forgot to mention, but when I purchased some of the products, I also received the free um, fanny pack here. I normally don't wear fanny packs, but because it's Stranger Things, I'm just like, why not? And it is so cute. This is how it looks like. This is the Hawkins um, mascot right here. Really, really cool. What I love about it is that in the inside of it, it looks freaking awesome. It has the upside down here on the inside. And I really love that. It's just super duper creative definitely my favorite thing about the bag so it's really cute anyways now let's go on to talking about this makeup look this is the first makeup look that i created with the hawkins eyeshadow palette and i absolutely love it and as well as the lip gloss this lip gloss is definitely my favorite not only does it give me 80s vibes it also gives me like a barbie type of vibe and that's what i love so first thing is first i do need to talk about um the lip glosses. I really did love the lip glosses. They're very, very smooth. It's not sticky and the shades are all so very vibrant. I also loved the eyeshadow palettes. All of them were very much pigmented. I was very skeptical because someone said that the shades weren't as vibrant in the palette, but another person said that it was very pigmented and very vibrant on their video. So I was like, you know what, everyone is different, so I definitely want to try it out and see if I will like it. I was very scared and hesitant because I didn't want to waste hundreds of dollars on this makeup collection because if it wasn't vibrant enough, then it definitely wasn't like worth my money. And if it was like, um, if there is like any issues with the palette, such as it being like a lot of fallout or maybe too chalky, then I would feel like I wasted a lot of money. Definitely recommend the Stranger Things collection with pack cosmetics, then definitely go pick it up today or whenever you can because it is just amazing. They are all really great. Um, like I said, the eyeshadow palette um surprised me. It was very vi it was very vibrant and it wasn't chalky at all. I feel like all of the shades were really smooth as well. Um, so definitely recommend them. And the blush, let me just say, the blush that I tried out on my face was amazing. It was very vibrant, super pigmented. It showed up really fast on my face, so I absolutely adore them. Anyways, um, basically, I definitely loved all of the makeup products. I still need the black lip gloss. I'm still not going to get the yellow lip gloss because I don't really like that one too much. When I already saw it and I saw some swatches of it, it just wasn't for me. I don't think that shade um, is good for me, so I just didn't want to purchase it. As for the other one, I still need to get the black lip gloss. Um, as for the two makeup brushes, I don't want to get those personally because I feel like they're too pricey just for one makeup brush brush if i'm not mistaken i think one makeup brush is like 35 or 31 dollars i'm not too sure and i feel like that is way too pricey i mean don't get me wrong i love stranger things so much and you all know that but i wouldn't waste that much money on a makeup brush just because it has stranger things on it i don't think it's really worth that even if it does work really good I personally just wouldn't get that because that's just me. I wouldn't spend 30, about 30 something dollars just for one makeup brush. I mean, if it had multiple brushes all together, then yeah, sure, why not? I would definitely spend that much money, but just for one makeup brush, I would not spend that much. That is why I couldn't really give you all a review on the two makeup brushes and the other two lip glosses because I don't have them. So I apologize. But other than that, I definitely loved everything else. I cannot complain about any of these makeup products. Definitely recommend. So if you all want to go try them out for yourself, then feel free to. All right, so that is it for today. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you all enjoyed this video. And also if you're looking forward to the new Stranger Things season because I am really hyped for it. And also feel free to comment down below to let me know which makeup product from the Stranger Things collection was your favorite so far. Um, and also let me know if you are going to purchase some of these products from MAC Cosmetics or if you are basically going to pass. So please let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. I will I would gladly like to hear your opinions on what you think about the makeup products. 
See you all next time.